Thursday, 12th of July. This will be our last hotel in Iran, or last morning in Iran. Because today we are going to Turkmenistan. Hopefully the last, hopefully the last morning where I have to put scarf on just to go down for breakfast. <laughs> Nearly forgot. Yeah. yeah, so today we're crossing the border this afternoon, hopefully. Not sure that's going to go, but we'll have to see. There should be another driver waiting for us on the other side to just going to drive us through Turkmenistan. And today we'll be, hopefully at the end of the day, be in Ashgabat. So, yeah. let's so, uh, see how that goes. Yes, today we're going to the border to Turkmenistan. It's look, it's, uh, for us it will look like it's long away Turkmenistan with a stand. It's actually the old time there was Russia. Is mm. that correct? Yep. Yeah. So it has been Russia, but now it's called Turkmenistan. Mm. So, okay, let's have some breakfast. Okay, so this behind me, this is uh, Mashhad. Actually quite a big uh, city really, I didn't realize it was so big. It's um, also a place where a lot of pilgrims come. There's a big uh, holy shrine here in the middle of the city, so a lot of Iranian tourists come here to visit the shrine. Uh, it's not a city we'll be seeing, we'll be in the bus again now and then we're going to the border of Turkmenistan. We're going to cross at the Hodan border. And after we've crossed the border we should be taken in a minibus to Ashgabat. That's the capital city of uh, Turkmenistan. So let's uh, hope that goes okay today. So, uh, I'm not sure, I can't really film too much. Um, Turkmenistan's not an easy country to film in. A lot of places you're not allowed to film. So, um, might not be possible, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, see you. Yeah, bus is arriving. <laughs> the last day we are traveling with this bus. Like so there. Very nice hotel. Won't be long, we're back in basic bed and breakfast in the tent. And now we're in the minibus for the last time on the way to the Bajiran Hauda water crossing between Iran and Turkmenistan. About two hours, I think, in the car here. And, uh, should be there, top it off. A bit different people telling it it's closed between 12 and 2, and other people say it's closed at 3 o'clock, so we're not too sure just yet. But, uh, Let's see how it goes. That's all we get through today. Well, time just to buy a few snacks in case we get delayed at the border. You never know. So this isn't a historical mosque. This is one in function. A few small shops here. You buy nuts. This will be our last town in Iran. Now we go to the border. Quite windy here as well the last few days. Really strong winds out here in the desert. Well, the last 90 kilometers now before the border. We leave all the towns and settlements behind and now it's just a mountain. Now we're very high. 2,000 meters up we've just come up. Doing it the easy way today.
Actually, in the room in Turkmenistan, Ashgabat. It uh, seems a bit surreal after so much time in Turkey and uh, never just spent two weeks in Iran. All of a sudden, we end up in this extremely modern, futuristic looking white city here. Totally unexpected. It's, uh, that's a new part of the city, it's only 10 years old. Now we are in the old town that looks a bit more like Russian. normal. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's only a new town that looks that fancy. But already we learned that 6 million people live in um, Turkmenistan, 1 million live here. And uh, they extremely rich country because they sell gas to quite a lot of countries. Um, China and India, for example, Russia, buy gas from here. Which means that it looks like they spent a lot of it on the city here. So all the residents here, they have free gas, free electric and free water. That's one of the perks of living in Turkmenistan, we just heard. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. I have seen the swimming pool and now it's my turn. So you can see here there are boys and girls that are playing down in the water. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Wow, we haven't Look. seen anything like that for a long time, no. have we? <laughs> no. so. so yeah, so the plan is now, oh, may even go swimming, we'll have to see. We've got time. But uh, tomorrow we are in the van. I'm driving to a town called Mary, which is exactly in the center of Turkmenistan, in the desert. So uh, we'll go from this modern city, I think, to a desert landscape tomorrow. But, uh, but yeah, a bit of a surprise all of a sudden to be here. The border crossing actually went okay, really. I've heard a lot of scary stories on the internet about people being stuck in no man's land and all kinds of things and waiting five hours for bribes, but uh, none of that was real. It was actually just quite normal, really. I had to wait, I don't know, about an hour to get a visa, but that was okay, really. Huh. And can I add? <laughs> um, the one of the... And if you're wondering, this is actually better. The no scarf on. <laughs> that the border, um, what's it called? Border guards. They also wanted just to talk a bit about football with Jamie, and they actually knew the Danish football player, Christian Eriksen. And they Here, know... in the middle of... Yeah, here. Yeah, and they, they knew know him. Michael. <laughs> Goalkeeper of Denmark. So that's Michael. always a good mm. subject to for conversation. Uh, yeah. So they were not so strict. They Denmark. were also just friendly yeah. enough yeah. and wanted to talk about football. No. Yeah. <gasps> and after mm. the border, there was about 35 kilometers of a it's called a no man's land, kind of a buffer zone where you wasn't allowed to film there it was in the mountains. You can see behind the city here. It's quite. Uh, Spectacular mountains, really, but we couldn't film there. But, uh, you're not allowed to film anywhere here near police officers or military, so we'll see how much filming we can do here. Not sure yet, but we'll see how it goes. So that's it, really. We'll get uh, unpacked and uh, see if we can go swimming, maybe. <laughs> Something new. The hotel's just bought us a nice place of fruit. Mm. Not bad. Welcome to Turkmenistan. Yeah. <laughs> Thing are special uh, this time. It's long time ago we have apples and fruit. That I will say it's a month ago or so. We have the uh, last apple. Yes, that is long time ago. It was from Greece. We just have uh, orange, but here we also have orange. So that is long time ago. <laughs> so, one of those days when you just never know how it's going to turn out. I think this morning we was in the land. Uh, Iran, and now here, just 50 kilometers away, you can drink beer here, you can go swimming with your bikini on, and uh, there's a swimming pool down there, <laughs> modern city. I've even just put my credit card in a bank ATM and the money came out. How does that work? Amazing. So now we're off to the swimming pool. I thought we'd be doing that today. Even the bar there, cocktail bar. <laughs> A swimming pool here with kids playing. 
this is totally strange. But now we're here in Tumidus. <laughs> Completely surprised to arrive in a hotel where there is pool here and bar over here. People drinking beer. And we have just ordered burger and chips. And I'm sitting here in my bikini. So strange. I feel a bit like I'm committing a crime here wearing a bikini and no headscarf. Nothing is totally, totally strange to come from Iran and then 50 kilometers and then arrive here. Very strange. Do you like the sugar? Yes. <laughs> There's even a disco here and a cocktail bar. <laughs> so this is the view from the ultra modern city of Ashgabat. It'll be strange weather, strange weather. There's only lights on the top and the bottom. It doesn't seem to be as if there's anybody living in them. It's a bit strange, but it uh, looks very beautiful from here. So. Okay, so that was the end of today. A little bit strange to think of now that when we woke up this morning, we're in one of the most Islamic cities in Iran, which a lot of people go to for religious pilgrimages and. Uh, now we're sitting here in Ashgabat, a little bit strange, haven't really got used to the idea yet. But uh, yeah, that's where we are now. Tomorrow we'll uh, leave the hotel at 9 o'clock and we'll be back in the minibus, another minibus, on our way to a town called Mary. Mary is exactly in the centre of Turkmenistan. So um, let's see what uh, the real Turkmenistan looks like when we get out of the city here. It, uh, Quite a surreal experience to, to leave Iran and then end up uh, driving through this new looking city this afternoon and all crossing uh, the border. So, um, now we're here now, so uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow on a day in Turkmenistan. Night for Jamie and one, two, three. Now are Jamie sleeping. No.